Second session's just finishing up trial ends. Um, next featured game is Suto versus Esme Haley. Esme playing with the green balls, Su with the blue ones. We'll get an indication of the color of the rings, it looks like. Sue is on white mark or lollipops and Esme is on the green. So I hope everyone enjoyed the first broadcast. We're just finishing up the trial ends now. Looks like it's SMA first on the green on the mat I mean. about on the three, three and a half meter line. This one just placing that one at the back. About 10 to 20 centimeters behind. It looks a bit closer on camera. to check. Shot to Sue. 
Shirt on that one. second shot from letting herself up this may quickly going up setting herself up on the mat I'm ready to play the shot playing on the backhand if she's hoping to get just inside maybe pick up the jack so So he's just trying to get a touch onto that back ball of Esme or just draw in. It looks like it's going to be short. They just started. Um, well they've started a while back. The current school there is um, uh, Roberts on nine and Holocom on six. Hope that helps the law felder. Hi Doreen, hope you're enjoying the game. Christina, rooting for Sue. but it picks up the jack just doesn't completely go with it but it's holding shot just behind hi Chantel hope you're enjoying the balls JC, unfortunately they're playing on the other ring, so it's a bit hard to see their scores.
This one just needs to about another 20 centimeters on that one. Just remember to share this video with all, all your bowls groups. Um, the way Facebook works is the more shares and likes and comments we get, uh, the more um, the video gets escalated. It's so we're just trying to get inside Esme's bowl there. Yeah, good bowl there. Eh? Just on the outside. But it's still a measure for shot. If somebody's watching from next to the green and you see the scores, um, you're welcome to drop them in the comments. Sue just touching her own ball, still a measure. I mean, it's mate. I quickly jogging back. More support for Ismay. Oh, just short on that one. on this one. I think she's try, trying to get around that one or maybe get a touch. Well, I think the idea was to maybe just m So the other games on this green is Jason Evans versus um, Brendan Ferns, currently the score, Jason on 8, Brendan on 7, so good close game. And we have Prince, This is um, Nisa, um, Prince down 2-8, then you have um, Roberts versus Hanukkah, uh, Roberts on 11, Hanukkah on 7, and I'll see if I can see the other one is 
beating me. Oh, the players just moved out of the way. This is um, Rupert. Joel. Um, the, the score is 6 0 in 5 of period. And then the last one had matches started earlier than the others. Um, is the Runt versus Manneberg. Um, score. Manneberg is on 7. Just waiting for the player to move out of my way and the round on 13. So, is me holding you? Lots of room to draw into. She gets a touch on that ball, she'll get shot. Sun coming out here at Wingate Park. Wonderful venue. Greens are looking immaculate. So playing on the forehand. Doesn't look happy. I think she knows she's pulled up short. She actually wanted to maybe get one in the way. Is my setting up for Looks to be a backhand shot. I think to get just inside that ball of hers. So that's one to see. And she moves on to two. I mean free. And the score free one. Just an update there on the score, three zero. Start there by Sue, just behind. Hi Chantel, um, if I see the score I will update it, it's a bit hard from this side. Um. So 
holding possibly two here. This man trying to get close. We'll get second shot. Still about a meter through on that shot. Nice good delivery by Suya. It looks like it's gonna be short. I think as the sun is coming out the the green conditions are changing. Good line here, yeah. it's still that meter through. Sue so holding two here. Yeah. So Esme playing from JBA and Sue from BGN, so it's the battle across the XK. Esme looking to get close, if she gets inside that one, I think that might just be shot, yes it is. Good last ball. Getting a uh, of the scoreboard. Please leave your comments. Um, this may moving up the mat a little bit. Remember to follow us on Facebook. Seems like you're always struggling with the line away from the clubhouse. And the length. Saw the previous match as well. So, also still about a meter short. So, please indicate where everyone is watching from. club or your town you're watching from so we can give you a shout out could draw you my eyes me still short but it's shot that looks to be a oh. So overcompensating and then it seems to run through. Hi Anthony, told her from Bloemfontein. Uh, we'll be in Bloemfontein come March for the Junior Nationals. I'll be playing in uh, the under 20s at Durand here and the under 15s at Municipals. 
so looking forward to be there again I have a um, quick update on your player uh, Francois is on 9 um, uh, Roberts is on 12 uh, the score between Jason and um, Brandon currently 12-7 in favour of Jason so going up to the head just to see what is happening there Jared, from where are you watching? Give us an indication. Your club? Do you play? Quite a lot of room to draw in here. Yeah? Hoping just to draw close to the jack, sneak away that shot. Just trying to get outside that front ball of Esme and gets close but still about a meter short. So that's one to Esme. She moves on to two. It's wonderful too. Bringing the balls live here from Wingate Park. Um, National Standing Committee for Membership and Marketing is bringing these games to you. Um, we're always trying to improve the equipment that we use. So we have a few new things to test out over the weekend as well uh, that will hopefully bring um, even more interaction to the game we will be able to interview the players just in front of the jack looks like a good ball here by soon getting a touch on the jack moving it about five centimeters to the back um, I think this may is still holding or indication and measure So it's me getting another one onto the jack. It's turning out to be a lovely day for bowls. Uh, definitely need a bit more 
sunscreen players will definitely need that this looks to be a good ball it's gonna be close oh just missing Be definitely trying to do that shot again on her last ball. This may will be seeing what her plan was, so she'll be definitely trying to see if she can get another one close. Maybe just get a second shot, but not make a target for Sue. It's gonna be close, just needs to get inside that one, get a touch, oh, just wanted to get a bit more contact onto that second shot bow. The shot is still on for Sue, so, so I think she'll try, the only problem is if, if she does pop the jack out there, it might move to the two of Esme at the back. So she'll just try to, oh, so close. Missing both. Uh, the school. No, Fleoni. Um, luckily, I can see. I'm just waiting for the players to move so I can see the one school. Um, I can see her opponent is on Van der Berg. He's on 11. So I'm just waiting for the one marker to move. She's on 14. Hope that helps you, Chantel. So the score on this game is currently 3-3. So yeah, a lovely day it's turned out to be. This morning I was quite busy, or quite worried as I was driving from um, to the venue that we might not see play today. Luckily it cleared up quite easily and the greens drained quite well. They're playing excellent at the moment. Good draw there by Esme. So we'll just try to get the insiders. Line was there just about a meter short. Another good ball there by Esme. Wonderful to see all these players in action. Um, after the last two years of interrupted play and everything, um, it's good to have everybody back on the green. Good draw there by um, Sue, getting shot. is looking to still play the forehand. Playing, which looks like a bit more aggressively play, definitely. Opened up everything once, but she's still down one. Um, I think she was trying to maybe get a touch on uh, Sue's ball there. Maybe pop the jack a little bit. It does give Sue a little bit more room to draw into with that second shot moving to the back. She's getting a touch onto that second shot. Second shot is a measure.
Oh yeah, nice. Oh, it's me walking back to the um, position on the mat. Let's see which shot she has in mind. I think she might be considering how she's going to stay on the full hand. I think probably a shot on the backhand could also be in consideration. So I think she's still trying to just get a touch onto that shot ball. Just getting tripped up by Sue's front ball. <coughs> so, yeah, remember to follow us and like this video. Yes, spectators are allowed, um, they need to be vaccinated, um, but they are allowed. Um, he's currently leading 13-6 against Prince, so he's having a good game. Unfortunately, I think they're playing on the other rink, I can't see him from here. Um, it's a bit difficult to s we're sitting right on the other side of play so we don't bother too many people um, and don't have too um, much interference from spectators quite a good group of spectators coming in all huddling around the shade it's quite warm uh, the BSA executive for a year um, national coach is here can see her from the other side along with the selectors. So the score update here yeah, it was one to two. So she moves on to four, four three. Um, So, uh, Philip Bradley, where are you watching from? Sorry about that. Oh, touch a day. Getting on to the jack holding shot. Looks to be a good line here by Sue. Hoping just to fall into there. Yeah, definitely shot there. Good position as well. This one will be trying to just play shot onto that one. Or maybe I'll draw it. The line is good. I'm not sure if it has the feet to get there. Yeah, it's about four meters short there. Lovely shot there. I think she's definitely holding two now. This man will need to get close. Oh, gets a touch on the ball. Wonderful ball there. Um, 
unfortunately she moved a little bit too far back for my camera I'll have to adjust that length on the next end and she's holding two now it looks like two I'll quickly check on the roster and, uh, um, I know we're covering her game as well um, but I think that's only tomorrow wind blowing everything around <laughs> to Esme. She moves on to five. Not happy with that one. back end <coughs> okay on the rink next door Jason Evans just picked up one playing a nice aggressive shot onto the shot ball moving the jack onto his ball at the back okay picking up one and he moves on to 18-11 they're on the 15th end. Yes, there is a live game for um, Laura. Um, I think she's tomorrow or... Let's quickly check for you. Uh, today's we're playing up to... Uh, Laura is the 8th round. Um, so I think that is tomorrow, the last game. <coughs> Sue holding two there. It's me on the last ball. going up to the head just to check I think she'll probably play the back end yeah, but she's looking at the forehead as well they've been strapping on the back end playing up to this end 
on the side of the ring away from the clubhouse um, luckily second shot is quite a distance away so Good ball there for second shot. I was hoping just to maybe get a little bit more of the shot ball, maybe move the jack back. If I look across the green, I can see it looks like um, Laura is currently playing against Annika. Um, it looks like from this side, but I can't see the score. I'll have to get a few binoculars out. So that's one to two. She moves on to six. Good game, yeah. They've been at it for about 50 minutes now. So it is looking good. important to stay hydrated in these hot conditions it has become quite warm now the sun is out no sign of the clouds we had this morning the wind is blowing slightly from the back of our players hi Manda Hope you're doing well. They're from Freiburg. And please remember to share your uh, this video um, on your profile or on your groups that you have for balls, so we can get as much games views as possible um, the one good thing this could bring is sponsorship so that will improve our coverage and also the more viewers we have the more we can take to the main broadcasters and say yeah we have so many people who want to watch Well, unfortunately not um, so you will have to make the finals then you can be able to see him uh, unfortunately we're limited to um, one game per um, session um, the ideal would be to maybe play uh, have two teams on both rings or both greens and then also um, to the veterans as well. We currently have the juniors are being covered for us by Burn In Production. So they're doing a good job there to promote our sport. Uh, quick question. Yes, they're playing first to 21. No ends. Burn the ends are played over. Good shot there by Sue. She's holding free. It's first at 21, burnt ends played over, no respotting of Jack. <laughs> yes, 
nice spring with a nice ball. She need to get something close. She's down by three. There's a lot of room to draw into, so let's watch this ball. Playing on the backhand. Looks to be a good line. Just needs to go past her own ball. Not get tripped up. It's gonna be close. Oh so it just goes through. But I think could be cutting off a few shots. Uh, I look at the marker and I think I think there would be a need for a measure. This may taking out two bowls. So that's two two so she'll move on to 8 all, right, all the way from Sedgefield and I'm right, glad you're enjoying the bowls it's always nice to see everybody's comments uh, that's a nice thing about uh, doing it on Facebook it's, it's very interactive so we can see what your comments are. We can give you a shout out. We can see how many likes we get. So yeah, it's a nice format. Yes, that's two to sue. Looks like the ladies are favoring the the forehand playing away from the clubhouse. Uh, probably because it's an end rink. The other hand is not playing as well or as consistent. Oh, good touch there by Sue. Getting two shots. And the toucher. This may changing uh, attack. Going on the back end. Let's watch the the line here. Oh, good draw there. She was still holding the one, so. Uh, jack level one is close. We'll quickly check the sound. Um, there's a bit of wind. Is this better? Maybe I should adjust the see is this better for you we can adjust the sound levels so quick check on the sound better for you guys just give me a indication in the comments Hi Lynette, I'm glad you're enjoying the bowls all the way from Stillby. Oh. Still one to Esme. Thanks, Manda.
Looks like the game between Jason Evans and Brendan Ferns is finished with Jason Evans winning that match. Yeah, unfortunately it's quite windy um, so that might also be a bit of a distortion in the sound. Yeah, I have to say, unfortunately, Facebook's uh, translation is quite funny at times. Uh, especially if you have a bit of an Afrikaans accent. Um, so maybe it thinks we're close to uh, Thailand or something. Moving on to eight. Oh, uh, wind blowing uh, umbrellas around. Um, they still play, yeah, um, I think uh, Nixa won there. Uh, the other game between uh, Roberts and Hanukom, it's still close. It looks like it's 14-18. Uh, Franchois coming. Sorry, um, just an interruption there. It's 18-14 in favor of Francois. So he's picked up quite a bit. So he's leading now. Um, I'll have to check what la size the bowls the ladies are playing with. Um, Looks like both these players are playing with insulites from this side. Um, they are on the smaller size, so I think they're probably either uh, zeros or uh, ones, but it, I'm not sure. Unfortunately, we don't have the ball size on record. Good ball there by. So just getting too much of the jack there. So it looks like it's one to Isme. Isme hailing there. So Sue playing good there. Getting two touches. Yeah, Vainant on that match there. It looks like Francois is currently holding two. But we'll keep you updated when we get the final score. Back to this game. So, Esme. Not one to move too much in this head. She's holding. So, I think she's just covering the back. Yes. Just to make sure if Sue does go a bit heavy handed into the head. Which could be a good possibility. She's 
measuring uh, angles here seeing what the outcome might be So let's see what shot she decided on. Looks like she's uh, sitting herself up on the back end. Watch her delivery from behind and the action. She's definitely playing with way to get something on there. Probably just resting out that shot bowl of Isme was on its way was trying just got so that's one to Esme so she moves on to seven the current score eight seven Remember, share you our Facebook page with your friends so you can get more followers on to Bowls One Sport for Life. Score there, it's nineteen fourteen. Back to the action here.
just trips over herself there. Bit disappointed in her shot, but it is the more difficult hand to play. So let's see those likes going up. If you see a good shot, give us a thumbs up or a heart if it's a really good shot that you enjoyed. Let's see how many likes we can get by the end of this game. Uh, on the previous game, the record was 46. Oh, that's a go. Oh, that was a good line. Just needed to beat that front ball. Thank you, Gerda. That's one to Sue. If I look at the sizes, and I think Esme also probably plays with this reasonably the same size. Two moves on to nine. Score nine seven. of a way would start by the two bowlers here but Sue getting that one closer <coughs> remember spectators are welcome to come and watch I just need to um, go through the front office um, put in your names at the compliance officer or else he'll track you down. And you need to be vaccinated to be a spectator as per national government rules for spectators in sport. And looks like it's two shots to sue there. This may will be hoping to get close. Just to wrap up, it looks like Francois has won his game. Good comeback by him. That's one to Esme. Good draw or shot there. Still one to Ismay. Good weight adjustment there by Sue. Should be able to zoom in a little bit for you. <laughs> Ismay's last one. That's one to Ismay. She moves on to eight.
It's been getting a touch of day. Good draw there by Esme, just getting past Sue's front bowl, holding two. <coughs> Promoting herself there, looks like it's a measure now for second. going in there so I think she's holding two measure for third so we'll be hoping just to sneak inside or just outside her front bowl that's a good draw that's a wonderful draw there for shot I don't see many hearts going for that shot. Didn't you enjoy that? This may coming up to the head. And she's thinking of how she can get onto that shot ball. Might be worthwhile playing on the forehand, hoping to get a touch onto the jack or the shot ball. Um, if you're playing with enough weight, you might just get that shot ball out of your out of the head and then return to the free shot you were holding. So it is an uh, option for her. So that's one to Sue. She moves into double figures.
Alright, sorry we were just leaving just to change the battery packs on all the cameras. So we're back now. Current score 11.8. Touch a day by Sue. Too too soon now. This may looking at this ball. Looks interested. Oh, just misses the second ball. Gets the third shot. Yes, there is a video with the um, schedules, which games we're trying to do. Um, we will also post it later on for tomorrow. It's games. Um, I know that the juniors one is also on a video format, where you can see what they're going to do. So I hope that helps you. Measuring for third shot, yeah. So that's 3 to Sue, she moves on to 14, 